So Framer is blowing up at the moment and you've probably heard a ton of hype about it. And if you're considering the switch from Webflow to Framer, in this video, I wanna run through some of the pros and cons of both and my experience doing exactly that. Hey, my name's Ryan. So I'm gonna start by saying I'm an official Framer mentor, but before all this, I actually started building websites for my own clients in Webflow. And I did that for many, many years, close to probably five years. And then one day, about six months ago, I discovered Framer and it just felt like a game changer. It felt familiar, it felt new, it felt exciting. And to be honest, coming from Webflow and that kind of no code environment, I was able to pick up Framer very, very quickly. But through this whole journey, I've learned a few different things. So in this video, I just want to cover some of that. So one of the first things I'll note is that Webflow is very reliant on understanding HTML and CSS. And while Framer uses the same sort of principles and the same building blocks to, you know, how a div would work or a section would work, inside of Webflow. Framer take a much more familiar approach to it for designers. I like to consider it the no-code platform for generation Figma. It feels like Figma, it looks like Figma, and it's very familiar to designers. Now, the other big visual difference that you'll notice between Webflow and Framer is that Framer is kind of built on this freeform canvas, which means you can kind of zoom around and it does feel like, well, Figma, but Webflow, it's like you kind of have to view the individual breakpoints like you're building it on the live site. Now, these both have their pros and cons. I'm actually a big fan of this freeform uh, display, which initially I thought I wouldn't be, uh, but it turns out it's much easier to actually navigate and build your site and you're always previewing your site anyway, so it's really not a big deal to actually have things on a freeform canvas versus not. Now, one of the things I will mention about Framer is that it's still early. Webflow is a $4 billion company. They have, you know, hundreds of employees, they've been around for a long time, and Framer has been around for a while too, but not in the website space. They've always kind of played in this prototyping space. And to be honest, I think the kind of website builder of Framer is only about 18 months old. So in terms of the roadmap, they still have a lot of catching up to do to Webflow. They're lacking integrations. You can't do Zapier. They don't have custom forms. And that's why I built my own solution. Uh, Link in bio. <laughs> so there's a lot of things that Framer need to ship to get to the place where Webflow is right now. But I can vouch for the incredible Framer team because they're moving incredibly fast and they're shipping new updates every single week. And to be honest, I think kind of Webflow have kind of taken a lot of the problems and kind of solved it for Framer and have essentially given this, you know, path for Framer to follow. Now, one of the big reasons I would still choose Webflow over Framer is not necessarily just the integrations, but it really does depend on what sort of site you wanna build. For example, if you're building a great, simple marketing site, I think Framer is awesome and I would put all my eggs in that basket. But if you build something a little bit more complex, like a membership site, an e-commerce store, any sort of website with advanced functionality, and you wanna build it with no code, I still think Webflow is the right option. Now, the other thing you should consider too, especially if you're working with clients, is what that handover process looks like. Now, compared to Webflow and Framer, and again, I've been designing websites for clients in both now, I've actually found Framer a much easier platform for my clients to use because again, it's familiar, it feels more clean, it feels more accessible, and it's much easier for them to just go in and double click things like a text document to edit it. And it's not as techy or not as, you know, developer led as say Webflow, which is actually a good thing when it comes to dealing and managing client sites. So we can get technical with this too. So Framer allows for multiple collaborators at the same time, which is something Webflow doesn't necessarily offer unless you're on one of their paid plans. Uh, a big thing is that Framer have no page limits, which I think Webflow limited to say like 25 pages. If you haven't already, I would 100% go and Google Framer components and learn about Framer components because that functionality in itself is a game changer compared to how you would build something in Webflow as a component. And I think overall, and this is the big kicker to me, Platforms aside, like I think everything has its pros and cons. What I've found is that I can build 1.5 times the speed in Framer compared to Webflow, which in Webflow, I was building really quick anyway. And I was, you know, creating a really good value for myself. But 
The fact that I can do that even quicker in Framer, simply because it feels more familiar and it's easier to use as a designer, that in itself is a game changer when we're talking about making money or being more profitable. So it really is worth considering. So overall, I'm not here to sell you on Webflow or I'm not here to sell you on Framer too. I think both options are good and it really does depend on your use case. But I know there's a lot of people who are from the Webflow space who are interested in Framer right now. And being a big advocate for that, I wanna make sure that you understand all the pros and cons that comes with it. But of course, my opinion means nothing. Go try it for yourself at Framer.com. The link will be down below. And if you are interested in mastering Framer, I have an A to Z course on it. And I also am building a Framer career accelerator, which is for when you've mastered Framer and you actually want to make money with Framer. All those links can be found down below. But until next time, I'll catch you later.